Hello and welcome to Millfield School, the one of the most famous and prestigious rugby schools in the country. And we are here today for their game against Clifton College, one of the biggest, perhaps the biggest game of the entire season. Trying to put as much between him and the ball as possible. No matter for Worsley though, as he slots the points and Clifton College have a 3-0 lead and Harry, a perfect start for Clifton. And it was Harris last week that kicked the touchline conversion to give Millfield the win against Whitgift. And it's Harris that lands the penalty to draw them level with Clifton College. Yeah, Tom is a, is a scrum half. Presumably your eyes are lighting up for a, for a position like this. Yeah, definitely. You got to, it's, it's all on the wheel. They, they've gone, that's a great play. Harris charges through. Leaches for the line and Harris. Great try. From the scrum. Dances across the line. He was released by his inside centre, Tommy Davis. Millfield get the ball moving forward, putting the defence on the back foot. And well, Tom. It's a great engage by the Millfield 12 there, as well with the 13's hard line blocking off the Clifton defence, which allows Sam Harris to run through and score. On the front foot early on here. Now Nixon. Strong carry from the captain. And through for a second try. McKibben on the short line on the blind side. I didn't see it, I do apologise. I'll look. And like Harris before him, the water's parted. Gives it to his skipper. And you can see the blind side starts to form. And the Kibben gets on, gets on the outside there of the defence, doesn't he? It's a good bit of footwork just to get outside of that sort of trio of defenders and get on the outside shoulder. Since then, it's all been Millfield. It's Clifton's first true attacking opportunity. They think they're over, not quite. They look now wide. Campbell Wu, could he have passed it? Didn't need to. Campbell Wu crosses the line. It was him that started it with the kick across for the line out. And it's Campbell Wu that finishes with the powerful drive to the try line. It's a well worked try there from Clifton. It's quite lucky Campbell Wu did get over because I feel like there was quite a big overlap out the back with the, the pullback. But it's well deserved considering he did that great Thank kick you. earlier on. Yeah, a lovely score from Campbell Wu. Unbelievable. McKibben is the target, brings it down safely. Ball to the tail. Pierce goes ferreting. Instead, it's number eight, Max Jenkins. He comes away with it. Milford would have to play it wider earlier than they would have wanted. On the rumble, and they're over. And I think it's the skipper, Sam Nixon. Eric Nixon. Eric Nixon, even. Sam would be upset about that. Sam Nixon, of course, playing his rugby out in France before. I think he's moved back to the UK this year as his cousin Eric goes crashing over. A real captain's try there. Worsley has the legs, has the accuracy as well. Sam Worsley, wonderful kick. For the kick that could win the match for Millfield. 20 points, 13 in the lead. Carson, well, it's got the legs. Has it got the, the accuracy? It does. Harry Carson with the mega penalty kick. Puts Millfield 10 points clear. Clifton on the ball. Spilled in contact, though. Turnover from Millfield. Clear the lines. And Millfield will win the game. 23 points to 13. Harry Carson penalty at the end took it away from Clifton College but it was all about that first half performance from Millfield three tries to Clifton College's one in such tough conditions here at Millfield School a wonderful game of rugby